Question 16. How you will explain life cycle in a project? Answer. It is quite true that any project has different modules especially when there is a huge difference between the activities associated with a project. There are two modules that are generally called as start and closing phase. Both these phases contribute in making a project significant and are jointly considered as life cycle. Question 17. How can you say baselines are associated with a project? Answer. It is one of the very important tasks that are generally considered before the execution of any project in any organization. Basically, they are nothing but the finalized version of each and every plan associated with a project. It is also helpful in measuring the project performance in the future. Question 18. How you will describe a project charter? Answer. It is basically a document which is related with the execution of a task that generally required team collaboration. In Confluence it largely matters. The overall authorization of all the activities that are managed with team collaboration is done based on this document. It also provides clear information on the outcomes that are associated with the project. Question 19. What are the prime requirements for Confluence technology? Answer. Confluence is a platform independent approach and can simply run anywhere. Question 20. Can you tell some risks that are associated with a project that is accomplished with team collaboration? Answer. It largely depends on the type of project. However, a few of them can be technical glitches, organizational issues, internal, as well as external factors influencing a project. Question 21. What do you mean by the term scope management? How does that matter in team collaboration? Answer. Its primary aim is to create the hierarchical decomposition of a project into important processes. In addition to this, scope management includes collecting the useful requirements, verifying and defining scope as well as managing the baselines in a proper manner. In team collaboration it always makes sure of improved productivity and better accomplishment of a project. Question 22. What exactly do you know about a milestone? Answer. While working in a team collaboration, tasks and responsibilities are generally divided. When some objective or a small portion of a project is accomplished, it is regarded as milestone. Question 23. What exactly WB stands for in team collaboration or in a project management? Answer. It stands for work breakdown structure. Question 24. Name a few important approaches that are useful in scope defining. Answer. Well, there are a lot of approaches and the ones that play a significant role at different levels are analysis of the requirements, value engineering, product breakdown, alternative analysis, system analysis, value analysis, brainstorming, pairwise comparison. Question 25. Can you suggest some ways that can help in compressing a schedule or a project time in a team collaboration? Answer. There are certain ways to accomplish this task and the ones that are widely regarded as best are fast tracking of subtasks and crashing. The aim of crashing is to enhance the schedule making based on the time slots available without enhancing the cost factor. On the other side, fast tracking is an approach that makes sure of quick selection of the activities or subtasks from the available options to assure quality outcomes. Question 26. What exactly do you know about effort variance? Answer. Efforts always play a significant role while accomplishing a task through team collaboration. Variance in efforts or effort variance is nothing but the difference in the efforts estimated to accomplish a task with the efforts that are actually required for same. Special attention is to be paid on performance of work to know if any variance is there. Question 27. How will you define quality control? Answer. It is basically a set of inspections to ensure all the requirements related to quality are met. The primary aim is to eliminate all the errors associated with a task or a project. Question 28. In team collaboration, how you will define RAID and how can you say that it is important? Answer. RAID means risks, assumptions, issues, as well as dependencies. All these four factors largely matter while handling any project in a teamwork. 
the entire members of a team working on a project must be familiar with them and must pay special attention to keep up the pace all the time. All these factors can largely influence the outcome of a project in case no special attention is paid to them. Question 29. Do you think dedication and leadership are the prime requirements in team collaboration? Answer. Yes, it is very much true. Unless the team members have no dedication and leadership, it is not possible for them to accomplish the most desired outcomes. Question 30. What exactly do you know about processes and process groups in team collaboration? How do they matter? Answer. In team collaboration, a process can simply be defined as a method of handling a task. It doesn't just provide information on actions to be taken into account but the right sequence in which they need to be followed. Groups or process groups are nothing but an array of processes that are associated with other activities of a project. 